Greetings everyone and welcome back to Factory Town, where in the last episode we set up our first magical industry. We are currently making enchanted books, which is really, really drastically improving our learning in the school. We don't have that many things left to learn though, it's worth noting. We've also increased our steam generator output because we were at capacity. We are currently using a very small number of mana crystals, which are being thoroughly drained into the enchanter to make our enchanted books and then again recharge just for a, a, a very very uh, uh modest amount of yellow coins very very small amount actually uh but one of the problems that we noticed and this is a bit of a big problem um we're gonna need to sort out some fuel over here oh my goodness it's pretty bad super bad in fact so i think we're gonna need yet another forester that being said are you producing more than we need um, you kind of are, especially if we give you more people and more planters. Uh, maybe we don't need to worry too much about that then. Let's uh, set this up properly. There we go. Let's make sure. Oh, there we go. We've now got the elemental refinery. Hmm. Okay, so we can now research fire purification, which will unlock the fire shrine, omni stones, magic rail tiles, fire rings, mana reactor. Um, the water ring, I guess they all unlock mana reactor to add fire boosts. Oh, this is going to become very interesting. But first, let's uh, focus on what we need to do, and that is get some extra trees being uh, planted over here. Uh, where are you, trees? Place gold or what? I can place all? Oh, I see. Well, that is very interesting. Uh, I have been, uh, it has been mentioned to me that it may be possible, oh, that's so, so useful, uh, may be possible for us to uh, renew resources at some later stage using some method by which, uh, that at the moment I'm, I'm not entirely certain on, but that would probably be where placing those items comes in. If I could just move them to where I needed them to be. Mm, very interesting, very interesting indeed. Um... Sure, we could, you know, do something like this instead. This way we're going to have just one splitter, and I think that is going to be a better solution for us. Let's have you go in like this, and uh, actually, no, we've done that slightly wrong. Let me just get rid of all of these. We don't need them. There we go. We want to feed in here, to feed up in this direction. Also, to feed straight along, and finally, to feed in here. There we go. There we are, perfect. Now this is going to be evenly distributed between these uh, these particular locations now. There we go. And we'll also allow it to be sent straight up. Perfect. There we are. How much is left on this tree? Not very much at all. You know what, I'm going to let you finish doing that work and then you can stop. We'll have this connect straight up. But there we are, that actually works quite nicely. Very, very wonderful, in fact. There we go. We'll come back and check on this in a little bit. But there we are. So, with that done, let's go ahead and pick our next research. What would we like to have a look at? Now, we've got all of these purifications, then finally we will get this one. Let's go for, let's have a look. A crown, oh, that does actually seem quite nice. A magic conveyor belt, all right. Um, elixir, the omni stones, magic rails. Now oh, let's go for the conveyor belt. So we'll start with air purification. There we are, crack on there. Now, in the last episode, I also cleared up this large space down here, ready for us to set up a couple of things, but then suddenly discovered that actually I was probably going to need quite a few things uh, that I wasn't ready for. Um, though, one thing we have checked out is the elemental refinery. So let me just pop one of these down so we can have a quick look at what it can do. All right, so what do we make here? We use, uh, we can make fire ether. Okay, so it just breaks mana power down and a stone. So we are going to have to gra uh, gather those. And it takes 10 seconds, but it will produce uh, an ether of that stone type. Very well. And you have finished your job. Well done, you. 
You did a fantastic job. Really, you've helped us so much. Thank you. There we go. But I do want to make sure that this area splits its resources fairly. There we go. That should sort everything out down there. Perfect. I like. Okay, so with that done, let's go ahead and start our work on setting up our delivery of sandwiches. So the first thing we're going to need is a kitchen. Now, this will be the end point of this entire... Well, hmm. You know what? We could put the kitchen here and deliver it directly. Alternatively, we could make use of the packager. That may not be necessary in this particular instance because we're going to be producing these um, resources right next to the town. So in this particular case, I'm going to say it's unnecessary. But uh, in the future, we may not. We may not do it this way. But let's pop you right here because that's going to give you plenty of water to work with straight out of the gate. Now, what we want from you is purely sandwiches. It's going to take you three seconds to make each one. That's fine. Uh, that's that's perfect. In fact, bread takes four seconds. So, you know, they, we maybe we'll want to, to take care of that. But right now, this one does not need any kind of fuel. In fact, it doesn't need water either. So that was unnecessary. Uh, the only thing that needs water is remedy. So uh, let's actually move that away. We don't particularly want it there. It was just uh, so that I could benefit from the water, but we didn't need it. Right, so I'm going to need bread, I'm going to need cheese, I'm going to need chicken. Now the cheese itself is actually a fairly complicated recipe because it's going to require cloth and milk. And it's going to take 10 seconds to make. Three milk, one cloth and 10 seconds. So I'm going to say uh, let's put a little bit of room, like uh, three tiles worth of room, but we're going to have a, another kitchen back here. Now three tiles is going to give us room to play around with a couple of things. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna offset it a little bit. I'm gonna place it over here. The only thing I want you making is cheese because it takes so long to make. That being said, bread perhaps you could make it alongside. If I do that, however, you are gonna need fuel. But is that really such a bad thing? Honestly, I fancy we're gonna want two places making cheese. Um, let's 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 go this route. Let's let's have a specific kitchen for each one. Uh, and then we'll have a, a kitchen for just the bread, perhaps, right here. Or we can make the bread locally. Uh, considering how lo long it's going to take for the, the cheeses to be delivered, I think that may be something we could do. Sure, we'll have the bread being made there. So we'll have two places making cheese. There we go. Feeding in to one place making bread. Now, I don't imagine that that is going to roll. So let's go ahead and place down some conveyor belts. There we are. Uh, in fact, I may want to do something a little bit different. I actually have a buffer here. Since all this is going to be doing is collecting cheese, let's put it into a, a silo just as a, a, a buffer zone and then immediately take it back out and deliver it to the kitchen. All we're going to want there is cheese. Now, as for the fuel, we are going to need fuel. Now, that could come from the coal deposit over there uh, or it could come from the wood that we've got down here. We, are we doing reasonably well? Um, we are for the most part, but let's uh, increase that. Oh, we do not have enough workers anymore. Well, we can fix that one fairly cheaply just by upgrading. Uh, let's take all of these houses to level three. That will be nice and easy. Let's uh, go all the way up level three. The problem with that is that they're not gonna be particularly happy people given that uh, we're not actually providing anything, but soon, oh so soon, you're gonna be able to have food. And in fact, we're gonna deliver a fairly varied diet. That is the plan at the very least. And later on, we'll start delivering one from each category that you can consume. There we go. And finally, you as well. There we are, that'll be wonderful. Uh, though that being said, uh, they will con they will consume these items fairly slowly, but I think just having the availability does affect their overall happiness. We'll see though. Uh, but there we go. All of that has been delivered. We should be able to now give you a couple more peeps to help working there. But as you can see, they have demolished those trees. Oh my lord. Let's uh, make sure that we are making more of these then. Uh, can I place more of these down? I can't. Well, that is just rather... Disappointing, frankly. Very disappointing. 
Uh, come on, let's get... Oh, am I running out of money, perhaps? No, no, it doesn't seem to be the case. I was going to say, that would have been quite the tragedy. I would have been very concerned if we, we were no longer rolling in cash. But uh, you never can tell sometimes. Um, you know what? If we plant this entire area, then we could probably happily use this as our um, the required um, fuel. There we go. Let's go grab some trees. Now, I want this brush to pretty much be the entire area. So let's pop... All the trees down there that we can place. What? No, nope. can't afford. Bring more. Re what? Really? Oh, my lord! We're out of wood. How? When? My goodness. Well, all that is a turn up for the books. <laughs> oh my lord. Let's uh, downscale a little bit then. Ah, uh, it's because it is taken into consideration how much I'm trying to plant. Okay, that makes a bit more sense. My goodness, I was quite concerned. Quite, quite concerned. But there we go. <laughs> that should be okay. Now, uh, we are ob obviously going to be uh, hacking through these trees rather quickly. But once all of these trees grow, which they will do more or less at the same time, then we're going to have quite a lot to play with. Uh, but I'm going to peel off a little bit of this fuel. Uh, sure, we'll, we'll peel her off over to here. So one, two, since we're already a little bit higher then elsewhere and then we can just bring this back down i wish we could drag these but it doesn't seem to work from what i've seen and then yeah we'll have it all the way over here and then it can just roll down there we go one there and another and another perfect right let's have you just one there and oh we're gonna need to just rotate that. It seems that when you're drag and dropping the shoots, if you place one of the shoots first, it does. Uh, if you place the the um, the starter block of a, a, a the second leg of the journey first, then when you try to connect it up here, for example, I'd already placed this second leg, that, so beyond the turn down there. If I'd just connected up, I don't believe it would have made a corner. It would have made a a complete crossing, which is not quite what I wanted. Right, let's get all of this wood all the way down here and then across. There we go. And that should allow you to produce as much as you need. Perfect. I've also noticed that uh, the way that the, the lack of friction works, if the logs take a corner, if anything that has gained speed by going downhill on a chute takes a corner, it loses almost all of its momentum. And it just travels again at the, at the normal speed. But you could, for, for items that have less frequent movement, because if anything stops them, it cancels out their momentum, and then they just continue on at whatever base momentum they have on a chute. But if you build up momentum, if it is actually moving faster, then you want it to just have a very straight, clear path to keep that momentum going. Right, so cheese is the next one. We need lots and lots of... Oh, really? Are we, we threw this? We are. Well, I guess it is because we're making lots of bandages. That makes sense. But uh, we want sheep. At least one sheep farm. And that will provide uh, plenty of items to both these areas. Now, is there a logistics block that would allow us to sort, to bring certain items on. Toggles, inventory sensor. Hmm. We could possibly allow a gate to properly balance a belt. That would be an interesting one, honestly. Uh, we'll force matching items to take the specified path or direction. Well. We could do it this way, um, or we could just have overlapping uh, conveyors. But that would be the simplest system right now. But I think once we've got this system up and running, it would behoove me to take a, take a, a little bit of time and actually make, uh, or rather experiment with the computation and see just how complex a, a setup we can make. Because I've, I've seen some people make truly wondrous things. Right, we want you to deliver purely cloth. There we are. And for that, we're just going to need wool. Now, I am going to want to try and 
prevent this from getting too messy over here. So how best to do this? Perhaps give this one a little bit more room. Let's let's move you back just a tad, like another three. There we go. We're going to want a silo straight outside to collect all of that wool, and then we can just deliver. Oops, have we not got enough? We might not. No, we don't. Well, that's quite a problem, honestly. My goodness, we've gone through our metal conveyors a little bit too fast, it seems. Let's have a look down here. We are waiting on regular conveyors to be delivered. Are there any regular conveyors to deliver? Uh, no. Well, uh, there should be, as it happens. So where are my... Ooh, where are they? Oh no! Well, that is a little bit troublesome. And by a little bit troublesome, I mean very troublesome. Uh, okay, well, what we could do here is actually, it's a very easy fix for this one. Since we know that we're not using that little spot there, we'll just move this to the side. There we go. Everything is fixed. Abak has fixed. It took him a while to notice there was a problem, mind you, but shh, it's fine, it's fine. We can just uh, flash this system out with the regular conveyors, just for now, just so that we've got something there, and then later on we can upgrade it. Uh, we'll have this going across, like so. There we are. Right, so this one will just need wool delivered to it. And then we would like milk delivered to, uh, well, actually just milk and eggs. So we're going to want, given how long they take, probably just one passage delivering milk will be enough. Uh, so we could perhaps even have it delivered right in there. So let's go ahead and do that for now. There we go. And bring that down on the other side. There we are. And we'll just have a little, little hump there. There we go, that'll be perfect. Uh, right, so we're going to want a pasture. Let's go and find you. With cows. Right here. A pasture. Well, actually, maybe we want these further back. Uh, we can have pasture with sheep. And a pasture with, with eggs. I mean, perhaps the, the pasture with the beef. The beefs can handle that by itself. We'll see. We'll, we'll place it down and we'll just see how that goes, first and foremost. So, let's set you up. We want just uh, wool. Now that'll take six seconds. Yikes. Uh, milk only takes two seconds. Eggs. Ooh. Yeah, we would want eggs and milk in the same one. But the problem is eggs are going to dominate this. We're really going to have the what we need. No, I think, I think ultimately we're going to need uh, one pasture for each product. Uh, so there we go. We will set you up to deliver milk. And then the final one to deliver eggs. Uh, rather chicken. We don't want eggs. Uh, raw chicken. That'll take five seconds. It'll also produce fertilizer, but uh, we'll, we'll siphon the fertilizer out the back. I think would probably be the best best option. We'll, we'll see what we can do with that. Uh, right. So let's set up the collection. Straight in there, please. There we go. Uh, this should... Right, we want to make sure that we're only taking out the wool from you, the milk from you, and I, yeah, everything here is going to produce fertilizer as well. So makes sense to, to ensure that we're not fussing that, uh, with the wrong thing. Well, there. If we separated these a little bit more, I could have the fertilizer go onto a single belt. That might actually make a lot of sense. Let's, uh, let's do that then. There we go. And by another... Oop. One too many. Can I move that? No. That's fine. It is a, a bit of a, an expense, but it's okay. Uh, right, so have these collect fertilizer. This one... Uh, this one could collect fertilizer as well. Not strictly necessary, but it's fine. We just want you to grab milk, please. And you to grab... raw chicken. And then these three to grab fertilizer now what we do with this fertilizer well who knows right now we will probably funnel it back to the farms 
to behind them, but we'll, we'll see about that one. So the milk will need to just hop up here and then across. There we go. That being said, I have made the same mistake again. Uh, so I'm going to have to get rid of these, unfortunately. There we go. Now, I believe that when you break down a building, you do get refunded the cost. It might not be the entire cost, however. So it is definitely worth trying, it, avoiding wasting that. But now I could have all of the fertilizer meet down here. That wouldn't necessarily be a bad move. I could have fertilizer there, there, and then just... We'll see. Uh, but there we go. I'm going to need to, to split this off over here. Just get a little splitter in. There we are. Uh, likewise, we're going to want a splitter over here as well for the same reason. Now, do we have an upgrade tool? This should be. Hmm. Doesn't appear so. That is a bit of a shame. Oh, well. Uh, we can still get this sorted like that. There we go. Perfect. Right, we now just need to deliver the chicken up to this kitchen. So, with that in mind, uh, it's not going to make it the whole trip, but that's fine. We can finish the remainder off with this. There we go. And then across. And we have all of the necessary components being delivered, except the wheat. Hmm. Now, that one... It's going to be a bit more of a problem. I could have the wheat being delivered over here and then shunt it up with the grain being, uh, sorry, the animal feed being delivered to these instead. I think that would probably be a good move. Uh, can animal feed be shooted? Uh, yes, it can. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic news, in fact. Uh, so we're going to want one there, one there, there, there we go. And we'll just tuck that in. And the same over here. Perfect. Right. So, animal feed will need to be uh, split evenly. There we go. Ultimately, we are going to want more animal feeds to the pasture here. But we'll, we'll see what we can do with that. Uh, we'll have a silo to collect the animal feed. Just behind. There we go. And that can take from possibly multiple grain mills. That would make sense. So let's go ahead and build those in. Uh, so we're gonna want a, where are we? Grain mill right here. Sure, we could have one there. And this one then could be just producing the flour. I see no particular issue with this. There we go. And finally, one here. Now, these should be able to all deliver correctly. And then this can just filter up all the way over there. And then in. There we go. Oh, wait, no, this is going to be flour. Now, flour does not get uh, moved. No, it does. Excellent news. All right, so we're sorted then. In that case... We are good, and we can have the, the fertilizer move out in that direction. So this one is just going to need to be making bread. Uh, sorry, flour. There we are. And then these two can make animal feed. There we go. Perfect. Now, of course, we're going to have to hook all of this up to the production of our power plants, our steam power plants. And that's going to be a bit of a problem, but it's okay for now. Right, let's go into tools. We're going to unfortunately want to remove a ridiculous amount of resources again. And I know I'm making people's brains melt a little bit, but it's for the greater good. Uh, now we're going to want to flatten down. Same thing with this terrain. Just push it all the way back. We'll have a nice big old cliff face over there. It's fine. It looks nice. Gives the uh, the world a bit of an interesting shape. That's all. Let's uh, make it a bit, a little bit less obvious that was me there we are gotta hide the evidence you know there we go and just tuck that in not that we needed that part now then what we're going to want is grain to be delivered and i'm thinking once again we'll have it split evenly so one there there and let's get you rotated around there we go and there we are that actually works Remarkably well, I must say. 
Let's get that going. Right, I'm going to want... More than likely get another silo. Just emptying into these three. Let's place that one there. there. Also going to need a logistics block. Just to make sure that's all split properly. There we go. So this will be a green silo. Alright, now we're getting somewhere. This one will probably need to be fed from multiple different locations. Possibly even different heights. We'll see about that one. But time at long last to get down the farms. Now, if we've noticed anything, if we have a quick look over here, farms, even without water, seem to be doing quite well for themselves. We can probably run several farms of just a small amount of wheat. I'm actually really interested in testing that, just seeing how much wheat we can run off. So let's... Now, I usually advise a, a bit of restraint with this sort of thing, but let's not this time. Let's uh, let's go full ball. Now, the farms can or seem to be able to output um, wheat pretty bloody quickly. And we're going to be trying to feed three different grain mills from this wheat. So, at least three farms need to be producing. At least. Let's see, that takes two seconds. This takes two seconds. This takes four seconds. So at least three, three grain mills. Uh, three farms, sorry. Let's go ahead and start off a little bit more sensibly. So we'll have farm here, farm there, and a farm here. And then down on this side, same thing. Set them up like this, but I'm going to need to remove these resources. I'm very, very sorry for everyone who's who's having a, a bit of a an issue seeing me just delete precious resources from the world, but not actually sorry. Uh, there we go. And another farm. There we are. Now, this is going to require an enormous amount of resources. Absolutely enormous amount. Let's just set these up for grain and only grain. There we go. And here as well. Now, do we want to apply the fertilizer? I'm not sure we do. I'm really not sure we do. These farms are going to consume an enormous amount of our workforce. We frankly do not have enough people to fully staff these farms. But for the time being, that should be okay. Uh, let's place down some farm tiles. Can I place these in a large way? No. Well, that is unfortunate. Oh, well. Let's just get these farm tiles down like this for now. I think that should be more than enough, but we'll see. And if it isn't, we can always adjust that later. So there we are. And get these down there. There we go. Now, placing down the actual crops, I should be able to do with a uh, larger brush. Yep, perfect. Let's get as much of these done as I can. There we go. Done and done and done. Perfect. Right, I'm going to have three per side basically um i could have i could afford to have it in in, in pairs if i really wanted to and uh, maybe maybe i should actually i know i know i said i was only uh, only gonna have three but i quite clearly lied <laughs> i don't know what you expect me to say i lied okay <laughs> uh in fact given the uh the setup we could afford to have them deliver out from the back. Now, you may be wondering why am I putting these down? It's because I want to give them a little bit of extra oomph, basically. Um, I would like the oomph to be reasonable. Uh, actually, I may have to just have it run down two lines until that mana shard is gone. That's a bit of a shame, but oh well. Uh, given that, do I really want to build... Uh, yeah, I do, actually. I think it'll help. So, let's set that up. Like so. And like so. There we go. And then these can just deliver down. There we are. Now that one, it, ooh, unfortunate. No, I can't correct that now. I can, however, right click. So there we go. Uh, there we are. And this one all the way down. Okay. Perfect. No, not perfect. Let's have a look. No, oh, it actually did change it. Oh, okay. Ah, but there we are. That's the problem there. Can we get that to connect up? There we go. 
And so we're going to have to be very finicky in the way we do that, but it shouldn't be too much of a problem. There we are. Do it in. Oops. Do it like that. All the way down and then connect up. Perfect. Right. Okay. Now we're going to need grabbers on the rear ends. That sentence sounded so wrong. I don't even. There you go. Perfect. Now, it is going to be limited, but we should have enough filtering through. Let's have a look. We need water. Oh, right. Of course we do. We, in fact, need water. Uh, okay. Well, let me sort that out. And it'll probably be easier if I do it like this, honestly. Let's uh, move one block down. On Oh, okay. Well, that apparently does not work. Um, but these now do both have water, so uh, I guess it does in a way. <laughs> All right, I'll do the same over here. Donk, there we are. So both of these, all three, have water. Perfect. Okay, so we'll just uh, allow that to continue going. There we are. And we should start seeing things stocking up. Okay, we're starting to build up the bread. We're already seeing cheese. Marvelous. Absolutely marvelous. Ah, wait. We're sending all of this chicken down there. Okay, let's break that. Break this right here. There we go. Whew. And then break that one there as well. My bad on this one. Completely forgot that I wasn't doing the chicken over there. One another kitchen because it takes a fair old while to make. So kitchen here. There we are. And another silo as well. Yes, I'm using a lot of people here. We almost certainly can make this a lot more efficient. Ah, but... Wait. Um... That being said... If I added in the... the chicken here as well... I mean, it would make everything that it needed. This takes five seconds, that takes four seconds, and then the bread... Yeah, you know what? Uh, oh, no cooked fish what am I talking about the cooked chicken sure okay we'll we'll get the cooked chicken in there and that should all go it together to make the sandwich sure okay we don't really want to have another kitchen frankly because that is a very large amount of workers needed then so there we go we're actually starting to stockpile some things mind you part of that was because we didn't have any chicken but you know there we go, we're starting to make our first sandwiches. Uh, oh, did we just turn that off? Yeah, we did. Uh, okay, so I want bread back. There we go. It seems that if you click on the actual bar, it'll just turn on to that, but we also want sandwiches. So cooked chicken, bread, and sandwiches, please. There we go. And then we're going to want just two grabbers. One there, one there, one for uh, well, actually, no, no, we don't. We're not presently interested in taking the cooked chicken from this place. I think I'd rather have a, another dedicated area for making the best meat dish that I can. So let's just set this up and have a nice little silo outside. And I think with that, we can uh, sign off on this episode. There we go. Our first sandwiches are being stored. Oh, happiest of days. Truly, truly marvellous. There we go. Everything is running smoothly. The, the storage there is already full. We could perhaps consider pulling um, grain out a little bit faster. In fact, that is absolutely something we could do. Let's go ahead and build... Let's find the wooden pillars. Let's... Overwrite, um... Well, we're gonna need the rail stops soon, but well, we're gonna overwrite the rail stops for now. Right, okay, so we want wooden pillars there. In fact, along the entire length. Something like this. There we are. And then the archways can go on top, and that should all work out. And finally, if we set up a grabber at the top, there we go, and a splitter as well, 
you should be able to remove from the top as well. Oh, that's fantastic. There we go. We've just doubled the amount of materials we're moving from this silo. That is perfect. Absolutely perfect. There we are. We're starting to see these places filling up with everything they need. That is excellent. Absolutely excellent. Uh, how are they They all doing? Well, you know, they're, they're doing. They're, they're trying to do their best, bless them. This place will eventually back stuff because we're producing way more cloth than we need. But as far as things go, we've already got 15 sandwiches there. Ah, marvellous. Well, I guess for the time being, we could just have a cart rather than the railway system, but eventually we're going to need the railway system here. So uh, this episode's a little bit long, but I think we can, we can keep going. It's fine. We'll get this all set up first. So we're going to want a little area just down here. Now this might split off in a, in a separate way. I was intended to have it go over there, but you know what? Maybe we're going to have it peel off down in this direction instead. And just move along. I think we'd need it about there. There we go. And all the way across. There we are. Okay. So we want one minecart on here. And then finally, these people can at least, at the very least, have some bloody food. All I want them to eat is sandwiches. The very best food in all the empire. This is how we're going to lure them over here, you see. Oh, the other way. Thank you. Let's have a watch. There we go. Stuffed full of the finest sandwiches. There we go. And we are about to see history in the making. The first time a sandwich has been eaten in our empire. Oh my lord. So much money. Glorious. They're very, very happy right now. <laughs> Well, that's not nice, I've got to be honest. Um, that sandwich is gone. Wow, they are gobbling those sandwiches down. I'm not sure if we've got any left, though, now. Um, we'll see. How long once that's gone? Um, it's going to take a long time for that to, to run down, thankfully. But this is possibly going to be the first time that we see this place having... Uh, well, they're not going to manage to continually fill it up, but, uh, oh well, that's a bit of a shame. Still, that's going to make a lot of money for a long time. We are not producing these very quickly at all, though. Now, that is coming down largely to the cheese, and that is coming down largely due to the lack of, uh, of milk that we're producing. Okay, so we will probably, as I mentioned, start seeing this beginning to back stuff. Once that silo is full, this silo will fill up. And then it'll back stuff all of the animal feed from the, the sheep pasture. We're already starting to see that happening with the chicken, which is actually kind of impressive. Uh, I'm a little bit shocked by that one. But then, you know, once this, full, this whole system is ripe and this one is just feeding the... Uh, the animal feed into this pasture it might be okay we may want a little bit more though we'll have to see we are consuming the output from this silo pretty much as fast as we can get it in there we have back stuffed on flour though oh one thing i had not noticed <laughs> huh right that that is not going to be true for very much longer because i need to put in the silo don't i yes i do uh, actually it would have helped if i took that away first there we go uh, let's go ahead and pop the silo back in. There we go. I do like having a backlog of uh, of, of these items. It just it just keeps me keeps me a little bit happier about uh, there being any kind of issue. But we can already see cloth is starting to back up, chicken starting to back up. Soon the only pasture getting animal feed will be the cow's pasture. So hopefully at that point we're going to start seeing this moving through. It takes them two seconds to make one milk, so six seconds in total to make enough for one place. So 12 seconds in total for both of them. Eh, we'll have a little bit of inefficiency. We may need to make another pasture eventually. Um, though we are, no, we're, we're making exactly enough animal feed for one pasture. So we're probably gonna want more animal feed being made and perhaps we can deliver that uh, outside here. 
I think for the moment though, that's pretty pretty good setup. It doesn't look like we're gonna need to worry too much about uh, our grain. Our grain is growing plenty fast enough. But that's gonna be it for me for now. I do hope you've enjoyed this episode and will be joining me for the next where we will probably start looking at satisfying our new house's meat desires and also uh, expanding the speed that this industry is working by starting to add um, steam power and also increasing the amount of people working at each location. But as we can already see, we're not actually making enough to be able to sustain that yet. We'll see in the next episode if we can fix that though. But until then, and as always, do take care everyone.